Technology in the FIFA World Cup has been game-changing. From AI-driven semi-automated offside technology, to the connected football, and even performance tracking, here's how these support tools are taking this sport to the next level. Welcome to Explained. Technology has revolutionized the world of football. Just look at the last World Cup final where Messi scored in overtime. It was checked by VAR and he was onside by a fraction. It's made foul play impossible to hide, decision-making a lot easier for referees, it gives players access to details about their performance after each match, and let's not forget the tech that gives fans an unforgettable experience. But how do these systems work so efficiently? It all starts with the overall Video Assistant Referee, or VAR, system. VAR was first introduced in the 2018 World Cup after incidents like this occurred. The England players protesting to the referee. It's designed to help the on-field referee make decisions on goals and fouls leading up to a goal, penalty decisions, direct red card incidents, and cases of mistaken identity. Basically, the VAR team sits in the main video operation room. This room is linked to 42 FIFA host broadcast cameras in each stadium. Eight of these cameras are super slow motion, and four of them are ultra slow motion. The VAR team consists of the FIFA VAR referee and three assistant FIFA referees dressed in green shirts, while a team of three replay operators dressed in black provide them with the best camera angles. When an incident occurs, the VAR referee communicates with the on-field referee and he reviews any incident on a screen in the referee review area. When you see this picture, you might feel that the ball is out of play, but it turned out that it's not. One of the most controversial goals on the World Cup that earned Japan a top spot in their group and eliminated Germany from the World Cup was valid as the whole ball didn't go out of play in the build-up. That bit of green grass between the ball and the line led millions of fans to assume the goal wouldn't count. But the VAR's bird-eye view camera seemed to show that the ball was still in play as part of it was hovering over the line. Now let's look at the newest additions to the VAR system, the semi-automated offside technology. This amazing bit of tech works with artificial intelligence, and it helps on-field officials make more accurate offside decisions. Uh, we decided to develop, uh, together with uh, various partners, uh, some uh, new technologies to try to limit the time needed and also to be more uh, accurate. So how does it work? It uses 12 dedicated tracking cameras mounted underneath the roof of the stadium. These track the ball and up to 29 data points on each individual player's body. The data is collected at 50 times per second and it calculates their exact position on the pitch. Before we go further, hit that like button and subscribe to Explained. For more difficult offside incidents, Adidas' official match ball comes into play. And this match ball is no ordinary football. It has a speed shield skin for accuracy, flight stability, and swerve. And inside the ball, an MIU sensor is suspended at its core. And this sends ball data back to the video room at 500 times per second. The effectiveness of the connected ball was seen in Portugal's match versus Uruguay. Ronaldo thought that he had scored the opening goal, but the technology within the ball confirmed Ronaldo hadn't touched the ball, and the goal came from Bruno Fernandes. Adidas shared graphics showing how there was no movement in the sensor as it passed Ronaldo's head. When an attacking player receives the ball, the body and ball tracking data is measured with artificial intelligence, and it sends an automated offside alert to the VAR team for review. Once the pitch referee confirms the decision, the system generates a 3D animation that replicates the incident for everyone to see. An example of this during the 2022 World Cup was when Croatia played Belgium. Just before taking the penalty kick, the penalty decision was overturned as Dejan Lovren was deemed offside by this much in the buildup, which is impossible for an assistant referee to spot in real time. Other cool support systems include goal line technology, and this uses 14 high-speed cameras to check if the ball has fully crossed the line and alerts the pitch referee on his watch. There's also tech that benefits players and fans. 
For the first time ever, the FIFA Player app was introduced. It gives players insights into their performance after each match from data captured by a team of performance analysts. This includes information on physical performance metrics like the distance covered at various speeds, enhanced football data metrics like the pressure they apply to an opponent in possession of a ball, and enhanced football intelligence metrics that analyzes the phase of play and line-breaking events. Besides players, FIFA also has a one-of-a-kind augmented reality experience for fans at the venue. Using the FIFA Plus app, fans can use the pitch recognition mode to detect players on field. They can identify players by name and team, and it provides data on their speed, heat maps of their ball possessions, and other cool stats. Some of the other interesting pieces of technology in the World Cup includes the advanced stadium cooling for players on the field and the spot cooling for people in the stands. Then there's a control command center that uses artificial intelligence and facial recognition for crowd control and to predict spectator swells. Is there any cool football technology that you know about? And what's your favorite team and player? Tell us about it in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to Explained.